friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 26th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, and a look at volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here, the last 48 hours on our stun. 304 angstroms, we do have six active sunspot regions right now. And no major solar flares thwarted our way, nor CMEs looking at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have that newly formed sunspot region on the left-hand side and as well crusting sunspot region there. And coupled with plasma filaments across the surface. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, we did have a CME take off from the eastern limb or western limb right there plasma filament eruption creating a coronal mass ejection having a look at multi-spectrum this is the last 48 hours of imagery notable plasma filaments stretching across southwestern regions and we have seven earth facing sunspots right now Looking at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can see coronal hole regions, which are blackened. We have two that are turning away. One that has, and one that is in the northern hemisphere. And as well, another one building in, in the southern hemisphere, cresting in. So stay safe, stay aware, prepared, and be ready. We're going to be watching that large sunspot region in which I posted yesterday. We'll have another quick look at that right now. And coupled with the seven sunspot regions. Amazing images, Solar Dynamics Observatory. Space weather conditions, we are still under an R1 minor radio blackout. Impacts are possible due to C-class solar flares today. But nothing major, we've had two M-class solar flares the past 24 hours, not in an Earth-facing position. Having a look at the telemetry there, flare class, two M-class, but minor M-class. Solar proton flux, steady and low geomagnetic activity, sitting at KP2, real-time solar wind, sitting at about 400 kilometers per second, after coming down after being up over 630 yesterday having a look at the pressure planes for our magnetosphere this is the last six hours of imagery and versus the solar winds darker reds being the faster wind speeds look at all that backdraft going on behind our planet Looking at Velasco 2, showing a CME taking off right there. And as well, coming in, a small CME. And then watch the sun diving comet in the bottom region. Heading towards the sun. Or heading to orbit the sun. Didn't have a quite uh, straight line impact towards the sun. But a slower look at it here, we can see it coming in and then disappearing. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral is showing a large CME blast taking off towards the Parker Solar Probe and as well Mercury. This is the next four-day forecast for space weather as we do have an enhanced solar wind stream expected over the next 48 hours. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it has been busy this morning. It started out with a 6.1 in Honshu, Japan, at a 44-kilometer depth near the coast of Honshu, Japan. A couple aftershocks through the region, and as well, 4.4 there, Izu Islands, Japan region. 5.2 there, Philippines, another one at Abasco. Activity through Indonesia, 4.4 there, Timor-Leste. 5.2, Papua New Guinea, New Britain region, 
and as well a 5.5 and a 4.7 here loyalty islands but no earthquakes fiji no deep earthquakes through the region another indian antarctic ridge earthquake south of australia as well 4.8 there indian plate up into afghanistan northwest china and as well turkey and croatia quiet through south american plate a little too quiet for my liking only reporting there the 4.9 central america as well quiet except for puerto rico largest through the region reported was the 3.9 and then we get to the united states 3.1 there toya texas largest through the region was a 4.1 here at platteville california that is a lake alum nor northern california as well alaska seeing some activity today 4.1 towards anchorage this is the last seven days for shakers across the planet we've seen some big ones the past seven days including 5.5 there northern california off the coast 6.2 um, Colombia and as well 7.1 south of Africa 7.7 loyalty islands ring of fire very active right now USGS is reporting about 270 earthquakes past 24 hours no major swarms to speak about now let's have a look at SO2 and ash particulates forecast here for the next three days big eruptions as noted yesterday at Popocatetl and as well Reventador Nevadas de Ruiz you can see the SO2 particulates moving up into eastern United States and then out into the Atlantic no new volcanoes to talk about We're, we still have an active and erupting 49 volcanoes across the planet Luotolo had a pretty large eruption today. You can see that through northern in or through Indonesia. As well, notable coming off of eastern Russia through Kamchatka. And as well, Tonga region right there. SO2 coming from that submarine volcano. Either it's Tofua or the Honga Tonga. And then having a look here at the world weather forecast, we're going to start out here in North America. We do have a low that's encroaching through eastern parts and will affect for the next few days. Also, lots of moisture around the Gulf right now. Moving into Haiti and as well Jamaica. Low pressure system hanging around Western United States will keep things electric for say and as well across the Atlantic provinces watching for rain and possible snow conditions strong system moving off of South America through Buenos Aires no major Atlantic hurricanes developing here in the next seven day forecast brought to you by windy.com having a look over Europe you do have some moisture moving in for the next few days low pressure center off the coast of Spain by Monday and Tuesday we'll start flooding in moisture through parts of Central Europe and Western and as well all through the Mediterranean dry and warm conditions here for the next 10 days across North America and as well Europe we do have super typhoon Marwar who is still forecast to just graze the shorelines of Taiwan and then head up into coastal regions of Japan. But definitely going to keep an eye on it as it heads towards northern Philippines. You could get a glancing blow from this super typhoon. It is still a Category 5 super typhoon. Having a look here at satellite imagery, this is the last 12 hours. Category 5, and it is forecast to downgrade to a Category 4 and then back to a 5. 
then back to a four according to noah prediction spiral here just an amazing super typhoon look at that eye that is massive is it any coincidence that we have a massive sunspot right now earth facing and we've got this massive super typhoon let's have a look at earthquakes here as we just did have most recent earthquake 5.0 there reported prince edward islands region and as well i wanted to show you here at platteville lake alamnor showing that 4.1 earthquake we had a little swarm here a little while ago so heads up stay safe stay aware prepared and thank you all for watching today's update i hope you enjoyed it stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do bye bye now If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.